because of the efforts that we saw over the course of the pandemic, um, you know, we, we have maybe less of that sort of herd immunity again because people were less exposed to those illnesses um, over uh, the past you know, couple of years. Less herd immunity means more students coming into UHS. Dr. Terrence Hines says of those getting tested for the flu, about 14% come back positive. Last week, we did 296 flu tests at UHS. 42 of them were positive. Main symptoms for these viruses include a fever, congestion, and coughing. Some are calling it the trifecta of viral illnesses. University Health Services offers appointments for flu and COVID vaccines, but there isn't one for RSV, so doctors recommend staying home and resting if infected. You're just going to treat the symptoms. Tylenol or Advil for fever, body aches, um, you know, your over-the-counter cough suppressants, um, drink plenty of fluids. Junior Taylor Allen recently had the flu. She says there wasn't a big push to get vaccinated. I feel like COVID booster or freshman year and last year was big. Um, I haven't seen anything about the flu vaccine. Like, I honestly forgot about it. Just I haven't seen anything on campus about it. With the semester coming to a close, UHS advises students to take precautions and get tested before going home to visit family. 